Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Apubarama, and in today's video, I'll be breaking into the Hydra. This is a jet that's been in the game for a very long time. I remember before it came out, probably like five, six years ago, there were so many clickbait YouTube videos saying, oh, this is how you get the Hydra in the military base, and man, did I fall for those videos. I kept hoping and hoping forever that this jet would come out, and those videos racked up millions of views. And now that the Hydra's been released for so many years, it's kind of faded away into obscurity. It's still a plane that you'll see used every now and then by the occasional griefer usually, but apart from that, the Hydra is very rare to find. Hopefully, today's video is going to be able to change that point of view, as I personally believe this is not only one of the best purchases you can make in Grand Theft Auto Online, but I'm going to be listing some of the reasons why it is an absolutely amazing vehicle to get your hands on. Let's get straight into it. Starting off, we have the thing the Hydra is most known for, and that is hover mode. With one right click on my D-pad, if you're playing on Xbox remote, or obviously there's different buttons depending on what you're playing on, but for me, with a right click on my D-pad, I am now in hover mode. So you'll notice, instead of going at my top speed of 200 plus, I'm now chilling. Just absolutely bingeling right in the center of the desert. Now, hover mode is crazy for a couple reasons. First of all, when you call in your Hydra, it is able to spawn a lot closer to you compared to your normal plane. If I were to call in a plane through my interaction menu, which is how you call in your Hydra, it's gonna have to spawn at a couple locations, like the runway or the area next to your methamphetamine lockup. But if you're somewhere like over here, you're gonna have to drive pretty far away to get a vehicle that spawns, that obviously needs propulsion to take off, at least forward propulsion. When it comes to the Hydra, it can spawn anywhere a helicopter can spawn. That's really nice, especially if you're in the city, like the medical, the hospital that's over here, it'll spawn right on top of the hospital, just like helicopters will. It's super nice that you can have that ability with the Hydra. It makes it a lot easier to spawn in and a heck of a lot faster to get into. Not only that, but the Hydra features probably I still believe the deadliest weapon in the game. This weapon is insane. I mean, it shoots an explosive machine gun. And yeah, there's other planes and jets that have explosive machine guns. Most notably, the Rogue carries a side-mounted one on the wings, and as well, the B-11 Strike Force carries one. But those machine guns wish they were as good as this one. I mean, th those machine guns are like the game that your mom buys you at home and says, oh yeah, it's definitely GTA, and it's more like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> but either way, the, the Hydra's machine gun is insane. To show you how insane it is, we're going to compare the B-11 Strike Force's capabilities to the Hydra. So let's just land our B-11 real quick. There you go. So let's start off with the B-11. Let's see how long it takes to destroy an insurgent pickup custom. We're lined up on it. And, oh wait, we're almost not. Three, two, one, fire. Still going, still going, still going, still going, and still going. There you go. So that took a decent chunk of time. I mean, still, that is an insurgent pickup custom. That's a fast time to blow up a vehicle that can survive 26 explosions. However, when we get into a jet like the Hydra, it literally makes a joke of vehicles like the B-11. Here we go, and still going, still going dead. That's it. I, I mean, it's literally like two seconds, and you blow up an insurgent pickup custom. The Hydra's machine gun, every single little explosion you see counts as a full-on sticky bomb. Meaning that if you're ever trying to gun somebody down in a car or on the ground, I mean, they're just dead. You, you can see just how deadly this is. And when you add into the fact that this jet gets hover mode, you can essentially just, like this car here, snap them and instantly destroy them. It kind of, in my opinion, makes the Savage kind of pointless because of the fact that, you know, it can do everything the Savage can, because that also features the same machine gun, but it's pretty insane what the Hydra is able to do and what it can get away with. The Hydra also features an insane top speed of 209 miles per hour, which makes it faster than the laser, which is another very close counterpart, but not only is it faster than the laser, but it's half the price. The laser is 6.5 million, this is 3 million. That's actually not bad at all. 3 million dollars nowadays of a price tag is incredibly cheap. When you take a look at the price changes that just happened to GTA, vehicles like the Oppressor Mark II now cost just 8 million dollars 
to purchase. You also need a terabyte to upgrade it, which is going to be another 1.5. You need the upgrade station in the terabyte, and then you need to upgrade the Oppressor Mark II. You're going to be down over $10 million just to get your hands on an Oppressor Mark II. When you could get a Hydra, and then have unlimited Hydras, and use them just as effectively as you could use an Oppressor Mark II. Now, there are some downsides of this plane compared to a lot of the newer planes added into the game. First of all, you don't get flares. If you're in a dogfight with somebody, or you've got very good Mark II homing missiles fired at you, yeah, you're going to have to be a little careful because you're not going to have the easiest time evading them. That is one of the downsides of the Hydra. Another thing that is a downside, it's not a real downside, but it doesn't have bombs, but you don't really need bombs when, you know, your machine gun is literally a bomb itself. But still, uh, it doesn't carry bombs, which is something that some of the other planes do carry. But as I said, it has hover mode, which in my eyes completely negates all the downsides it has. The B-11 Strike Force is not only slower than the Hydra, its machine gun is not only worse than the Hydra, but as well it's literally just more expensive. It's actually really weird. The only other downside to the Hydra is that one explosion will completely render this useless. So that means if you're flying your plane and somebody shoots a homing missile at you, one singular homing missile will incapacitate this plane. You won't die, but you're gonna have to bail out of it, which is a bit unfortunate. But that makes sense, because if this thing could survive multiple explosions, it would literally be an absolute menace in the sky. Now, when we talk about the missiles it carries, it's basically the same missiles that you'll find on a Buzzard or a Sparrow. They're pretty mediocre, they're not great at hitting stuff. They're okay if you're doing missions, but apart from that, I wouldn't really suggest to use them all too much, especially when you have this cannon again. The cannon kind of defeats the purpose of using the missiles anyway. At the end of the day, this video was just trying to convince maybe some of you that the Hydra is worth splashing some of your vast amount of wealth towards in the game. I wouldn't say that this completely makes every vehicle obsolete. You obviously still need cars. Vehicles like the Toreador are still incredibly powerful at dealing with ground-based missions and jobs, and as well, vehicles like the F-11 Hunter can deal with things in the sky, and when you take a look at the Oppressor Mark II, even though it is ridiculously expensive, 99% of people already had one before the price changes, and if you do have one, it's still a great vehicle for getting the majority of what the Hydra can get done. But the Hydra is still undoubtedly an incredibly fun and unique vehicle to mess around with GTA. It's incredibly easy to fly, it's super fun to mess around with, it's got the deadliest weapon, as I said, in the game, it's got hovering, it's just got so many great things going for it for a super cheap price tag in 2023. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!